Hey guys, Jordan here. In this video, I'm gonna be answering a recent question that I got on a video, so let's get into it. All right, and today's question comes from Mbaka. Thank you so much for your question. He says, awesome video. I'm a new photographer and using a DSLR Nikon 3200. Can you make a recommendation for a slave screen and tether setup? Now, I'm not too familiar with the Nikon. I have a Nikon Z6. That's a more recent camera. I'm not sure about the 3200. It likely has an HDMI out and you should be able to use an external screen. But this is probably one of the, the questions that I get asked the most because when I'm out there making videos and doing uh, job shadows, I always have a screen connected to my, my camera so that I can record my screen. But when I'm out there shooting normally, I usually don't use an external monitor. I only use them. But it, it seems like a lot of people like the screen and the screen is nice because you can adjust the brightness and whatnot. But anyways, this is the one that I use. This is an Atomos Ninja V. They also have um, several different models as well that are just monitors. So I think they're a little uh, less uh, expensive, but yeah, I actually uh, like the Ninja V. I have a couple of these, very light and compact. And this one I have hooked on my monopod when I'm out running and gunning. But the uh, some of the Manfrotto tripods, I think the 190X, it has a quick quick link connect, so you can get a, uh, a friction arm and connect your uh, Ninja V or. I can't remember what the other ones are, are called by um, Atomos, but there are several different options. I like those, these monitors because um, they're very durable and uh, they have a lot of options. Um, anyways, so that is the monitor that I recommend. I think it should work with most cameras as long as it has an HDMI out. And uh, anyways, if you're interested in learning more about the real estate photography business, you can check out my free workshop. The link is in the description below. That's going to do it for this one. Reach out if you have any questions. We'll see you guys on the next one.